Good morning guys, it is Sunday, May 21st. I'm currently in my office. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. I have Harley right here with me. You wanna jump up? There she is, hi. Good morning. Good morning, sweet baby. I didn't really sleep that well last night. Um, I kind of woke up at five o'clock in the morning and then when I went to go check on the refrigerator, the lights weren't lit up inside and it was basically off. So I was like, oh no, because we just had our AC go out and I was like, please tell me this is just something that has to do with the outlets. So I went outside and turned the little breakers on and off for the kitchen and luckily the fridge came back on. So everything's good there. It wasn't off for very long, I don't think, because the food, everything was still cold. So nothing spoiled which was good, but I'm like, this is just that time of the year where things just kind of start going wrong and things start breaking. But I'm just trying to stay positive. I have my work computer right now. So I've got that open and even though it is a Sunday, I open up my inbox and I have over 100 emails. And what I like to do on Sundays, because I'm trying to kind of get my week planned and organized and put together, is I'll go through my emails, I'll file the ones that are just for, you know, an FYI, ones I don't need to do anything with. And then I have a flagging system on my computer where things are color coded. So if it's an action item, it's red. If it's follow up, it's green. And then I have a couple of other, you know, projects or they're miscellaneous items that are color coded in a different color. So. Like I said, even though it's Sunday and it's supposed to be a weekend and a day off where I'm not working, when you're a salaried employee, you pretty much have to work whenever there's work to be done. So it's not like an hourly thing. Um, when you're on salary, if there's work to be done, you gotta get it done. So I'm gonna spend probably an hour this morning going through these emails, marking the ones that I need to do, figuring out which ones are urgent and which ones I want to attack tomorrow on Monday. I always like to give myself a time frame though, which is why I'm gonna set an alarm for an hour because if I don't set that alarm, then I will just keep going and all of a sudden three hours will go by and that's not how I wanna spend my Sunday. I just wanna do as much as I can right now to get organized so that I'm ready to go for the first day of the week. So let's do this. Okay, so a quick update. It's only been 30 minutes and I have already narrowed my inbox down from over 100 emails to right around 50. So normally I only like to have around 25 to 30 emails in my inbox, if not less than that, but normally it's not doable. So 50 is a pretty good number. There might be a couple that I can file away. Um, so now I just need to kind of color code these and then I'm going to take some time to write on a pad of paper kind of a list of what I need to do tomorrow and in what order I need to do it. It may sound kind of crazy and really type A, but I also like to put kind of a dedicated amount of time or I'll block out time on my calendar so that I'm not interrupted when I'm working on something, especially if it's a larger project or it's a just something bigger that's going to take a couple of hours. That way I don't have people internally trying to schedule meetings with me. And I like to try to give myself a deadline, something to work toward. You know, if I finish these three emails or these three projects, normally smaller projects before lunch, then I will go sit down and have a nice lunch or I will go to Target or I will go to Barnes and Noble. So I always try to give myself some sort of reward or some sort of incentive to keep me going and get me to finish my projects and my emails. And it works out really well. So if you're, you know, if you're kind of behind, this can go for writing and getting your writing done. Or if you do have a full-time job like I do, then you can use that for work as well, where you give yourself some sort of reward or incentive or something to work toward. And that way it'll just make you more excited and you'll have something to look forward to. And it really does help in finishing your emails and your projects on time and sometimes even early. It is 9-11, I am shutting down my work computer. On the plus side, I had eight action items and I was actually able to complete 
six of them or at least get my emails out and kind of get you know get everything rolling for those so it feels good to kind of get some of those done today like i said it really does help to set a timer and even though i did go 11 minutes over that timer i was able to get six out of eight things done that i won't have to do tomorrow so tomorrow which is monday will be a fresh start and i feel like that's just such a good way to start the week but i'm at a point right now where i desperately need coffee oh what are you girls doing out here look at all that fur i need to mop and vacuum you guys are making a mess what is that move come here come here nutty hi hello hello hi i love you nolly i love you harley hello <laughs> you guys are so cute oh yeah maybe <gasps> a treat <laughs> Yum. Okay, I will wash my hands and then I will make myself some coffee. For some reason, we are having really beautiful weather. I mean, I'm outside right now and I think it's probably 60 something degrees. There was something I wanted to talk about with you guys and it's not the best news, but as a lot of you know, if you watch my vlogs, I recently did get a promotion at work and I'm finding there's a lot more work involved because it is a managerial role. So when I originally changed my YouTube upload schedule to Mondays and Thursdays, I wasn't really expecting that I would get a promotion at work. So that came as a very welcome surprise and I feel so blessed and grateful and fortunate for that promotion. But I am finding that as my workload has increased, it is becoming harder and harder to do things like these vlogs. And I absolutely love vlogging. It's one of my favorite things to do. But I think for the summer, so for June, July, and possibly August, because I do have a lot of stuff going on over the summer as well, I'm going to keep my schedule for Mondays for writing advice videos, so that's not going to change. And I'm gonna to try to commit to two vlogs a month. Instead of posting one vlog every week on Thursday, it's only going to be two a month. And I'm gonna to try to keep it on Thursday so that that's somewhat consistent. And if I can do more, then I definitely will. I think doing eight videos a month and trying to write and get Shadow Crown ready and write the second book in the Shadow Crown series and you know doing the eight videos, that's, that's a lot. Like I said, a lot of full-time YouTubers post two videos a week. So I do feel like this is a good decision for me. I hope you guys understand. I know a lot of you really enjoy my vlogs and you like the whole two videos a week thing. I'm hoping we can get back to that schedule in the fall, hopefully in September. But right now in the summer, like I said, with this new job, things are really hectic right now. Someone did ask me, I can't remember who it was, but she asked, with this promotion, is your writing going to suffer? And I have noticed over the past couple of weeks that my writing has been suffering just in terms of time management. Like I don't have as much time as I used to. I wrote down what I was doing with my days, how much time I was spending on each thing. And I found that YouTube was a really huge chunk of that. And the biggest part of it was filming the vlog because I have to film for the entire day. Whereas my writing advice videos, I sit down for a couple of hours, I film it and then I edit it and I post it. Whereas the vlog, it's kind of a whole day thing. So I have to have the camera with me all day, which means I can't edit until the next day. And normally I can upload. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. So like I said, you will still get writing advice videos every single Monday. I will commit to that. And I will also commit to two vlogs, like day in the life vlogs a month. And if I can do more, like if it's an easier week, then I will obviously post more vlogs. But right now I think this is going to be just the best decision for me. And I think it will also help give me more time to focus on my writing and my books because ultimately that's my passion and that's what I want to do. Not to mention I have some really great ideas for things I want to offer you guys in the future and I wanna have time to work on that as well. So I really wanna use this summer to work on all of this and get things rolling. I would say if you're not someone who checks YouTube regularly, you can click on the little bell by the subscribe button on my channel and that bell will send you notification emails anytime I post a video. So if you're someone who really likes to watch my vlogs and you know to come here every Thursday because my vlogs go up, 
but now I'm kind of changing the schedule a little bit and you're not sure which Thursday the vlog's going to go up, having that little bell pressed is great because you will get an email as soon as a new video goes up on my channel. So that's a good way to kind of keep track and make sure you don't miss out on any videos. But I would love your guys' feedback. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope that's not too much of a bummer. I'm kind of bummed about it because I feel like I just started this new schedule and I really liked it so far. But like I said, unexpected things happen and they're good things, especially when it's a promotion, that's a wonderful thing. But at the same time, I have to manage my time and make sure I'm balanced. And right now, a lot of my time is spent on YouTube in the vlogging space. So as sad as it is for me, I know that's where I need to cut back a little bit but I am hoping to come back full force in September, maybe October, sometime in the fall. So you guys are awesome. Thank you for understanding. Sitting outside and drinking almost all of my coffee has definitely made me feel more awake. My eyes felt really tired this morning. There come the dogs. I am going to head back into my office. That was a nice little break, but I have a lot that I need to get done today and kind of prep and organize for for next week. I like to give myself short little spurts and breaks like 15 minutes in between and then I'll come back into my office, sit down and get done what I need to get done. That coffee really helped. My eyes were feeling really tired. My brain was kind of mushy, so I'm, I'm happy that I made a cup of coffee. There's a kitty, meow meow. So I am going to journal a little bit. I did get a hold of this book. I feel like I did this in one of my haul videos in my vlog where I was talking about nonfiction books and kind of like inspirational girl boss books. But this one's by Carrie Green and it's called She Means Business. And in the back of it, it has this 30 day plan, I believe, that gives you kind of journal topics or ideas for just your business and your life and your dream life and what you want it to look like. So I've really been kind of going along with that along with my morning pages, which I did not film me doing those. Oops, but I did wanna go ahead and journal for today. So I am on week two, which is getting clarity and it's day eight and the journal topic is goals and intentions. It says this week is all about getting clarity, so start today by setting your goals and intentions for the future, for today, for this week and month, and for the next six months or year. In fact, feel free to dream as far into the future as you want. Do whatever feels right for you. Have fun with this and release any limitations. Once you've thought about what you want, write it down. As a side project, consider creating a goal board or a goal box or a goal folder for yourself. So much fun and so powerful. And she has a reference to page number 46 here. Since I already have my vision board, I guess you could call it, I'm not gonna do the second part, but I will go ahead and write down my goals and intentions for today, this week, and this month. And I kind of already have my goal set out for six months to a year. I did that at the beginning of this year when I was doing my goal setting, but it's always good to set your goals and kind of revise and adjust your goals every week because they do have a tendency to change. So if your goals are stagnant, then most likely you're going to be stagnant and you're not going to be taking actionable steps to get you any closer to where you want to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and journal for a little bit and then I think I'm going to open up my personal laptop and get going on updating the outline for shadow crown so that way I can start really doing a full deep brainstorm and outline for book two in that series. I'm looking outside my window I try to see where my luck goes I just don't know how it's lived So we kind of went from earlier this morning to now it being nighttime and obviously I am laying in bed right now. I did a lot today, but I didn't go anywhere. I spent a lot of time in my office just prepping for certain things and outlining stuff and you guys saw me journaling and all that. So I figured this vlog was already probably getting long enough and I didn't need to keep filming myself sitting at my desk working because that's really what today was all about for the most part. So it's about nine o'clock now. I am absolutely exhausted, but it was a really productive Sunday. I feel prepared for tomorrow. So I think Monday is gonna be a really great start to the week and I'm really looking forward to that. But I'm gonna go ahead and read. I'm still reading Confess by Colleen Hoover. I know I said I was gonna finish this book like two or three weeks ago, but as I mentioned earlier, things have been really hectic at work and I haven't had as much time to write or read as I would like to. 
but I am, I checked on Goodreads and I'm 80% of the way done with this. So I'm hoping I can finish it by the end of this week. I'm also reading The Universe Has Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein. That's kind of the nonfiction book I'm reading right now. And the next book I'm going to read is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Moss because everyone keeps telling me to read it, read it, read it. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that from here on out, I will only be posting two vlogs a month instead of my four vlogs a month. So make sure you click on the little bell next to the subscribe button on my channel and that way you'll be sent emails whenever I upload a new video. That way you won't miss anything. I hope you guys have a great day or evening depending on where you're at in the world and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!